Up to a short time ago, we thought we had all the non-terrestrials in prison. Well, you were wrong. An unknown number of them, sleeper agents, have been living among us. He realizes that just releasing people because you feel it's not the right thing to do from a moral perspective or it's not the American thing to do, that's great in theory and hypothetically, but the reality is, and this is what he learns, that these people are dangerous. No. Sophia, the leader of these people, has lied to him. Thomas, who is her son, who is kind of a rogue component within the non-humans, is even going against her. So the president can't trust neither her or, or Thomas. That's part of what really starts to turn him on a, on a whole other axis in a whole different direction. Yesterday, they launched a communication satellite from a private facility in Southeast Asia. And now Sterling is the one who's, you know, as the president goes further down that path to circumvent whatever the non-humans are trying to do, Sterling steps in and says, oh, you know, are, we, are we pushing it too far? So uh, it's great to see posi positions and, and, and um, directions shift. You lied to me, Mr. President. Virginia Madsen plays this senator from Alaska, attractive politician. She learns, because she's from Alaska, about this detention facility where these, these non-humans had been kept. She doesn't know who was kept there. And she starts to uncover documents about this place that we know of as in Estranca. She starts asking questions. So she very much becomes that nemesis to the president because she's pushing his buttons and she's getting under her skin because she wants answers. Um, of course, the president feels you're not entitled to answers. You're, you're a senator. You've only been here a couple weeks. Are we pushing my buttons? What are you talking about? <laughs> you're running a secret prison. We have basically taken away all of the, the flashbacks. This was one of the storytelling devices that a lot of people complained about because I can't tell how many people came up to me and said, I, I, I want to like the show, and I like so many elements of the show, but I get confused because of the nonlinear storytelling. We keep moving around, jumping around five years earlier, two years earlier. I want to know who the prisoners are. So the writers and producers heard that and decided to just tell a, a very straightforward story, very linear, you know, and it flows. I want to know what well, kind unfortunately, of... Unfortunately, Senator, all I can tell you is that it's a matter of national security.